Hello and welcome to the video. I want to talk about putting on an accent at work and another way of saying that is that um, when someone goes to work here in the UK it can happen, it does happen and I think it's quite common that when the person is doing their job they speak with a different accent than they would when they're at home, when they're relaxed with their friends and family. So I want to talk a little bit about, about why this happens and to give some examples. I'm going to assume that you already know that the accent is very important in the UK and um, people are much more obsessed with it than they are in other countries. And that's because it's used to signify uh, a person's social class and all the time people are judging others by the way that they speak and using their accent to um, as, as a quick sort of placement where they are in the um, social hierarchy from top to bottom and um, yeah it's just it's just one of those um, quick quick things people can read about others so um, easier if I give you a few examples Let's say that you work in Poundland, which is a um, high street shop that sells um, cheap items. If you work in Poundland, it will not be useful for you at all to speak with an RP accent. And that's because um, your customers are uh, not typically middle class and your colleagues um, are very unlikely to uh, speak with an RP accent. That's because it's mainly a working class um, workplace. And I'm just observing this. I'm not looking down on pound, Poundland. I shop in Poundland. I don't care about that. So I'm just making the point that if you work there, um, you'll just fit in better by speaking with your regional accent, how, how you speak normally. And I'm also going to make the observation that if you applied for a, a job at Poundland and you were um, middle class, um, I'm not saying you wouldn't get the job. I'm just saying you wouldn't be the best, the best fit. And even if you did get the job, you might um, be the odd one out kind of thing. Now, another example about working in the high street is um, going to the other end. If you work at Waitrose, let's say, which is a middle class, middle class uh, shopping brand, if you work there, your um, your working class accent will um, probably adapt, let me just put it that way, because you're going to be around um, mainly middle class customers all the time who have a different way of speaking to you and it will just help you to have a better kind of rapport with them and everyone will feel just a little bit more comfortable together interacting if you change your accent a bit i don't mean you have to change it 100 percent and sound exactly like your customers but to, you, you would change it a bit just to you would just go up up a bit change your accent a bit just to make everybody more com uh, comfortable and this tends to happen unconsciously um um yeah just just it's just how it is here in the in the UK. Uh, so you'll find that um, in particular people who have to interact with the public or deal with customers, um, they will adopt a way of speaking which is more in line with their particular, their typical customer. Um, and we do that because it just makes everybody feel more comfortable. When you speak in a way um, that is more towards RP or more posh, people will treat you with more respect and um, they are less likely to um, assume that you are stupid or um, go over your head and ask for a manager immediately. Uh, the reason people do that is that in general, people get looked down on if they have a strong accent. I'm just telling you how it is. I'm not saying I do this myself and I'm not saying that it's right. And um, if you, uh, well, if you don't believe me, you don't believe me. But um, it really is a, a thing in the, in the UK that um, people get looked down on when they have a regional or strong accent. So um, yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.